All right, we've got another 1v1 tournament going on. So I've got two frigid air ice makers. These sit on top of the counters. Um, we are gonna compare them and see which one is better or will they be the same. Um, so this one being larger, I got a question for you. Does size matter? Um, throw it down in the comments, let me know what you think. Will we get more yield from the larger one or will they be the same components inside? And uh, this just has more plastic and more room to store more ice. Um, we'll see. That's what we're here for is to check this out and find these questions out. So uh, once again, I'm going to pull just the one apart. This will start with a smaller one. And if there's anything different from pulling this one apart to this one, I will film it. If not, we'll just film the one. So that being said, uh, thank you for following along again. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up and also um, if you haven't subscribed to our channel and you like what you're seeing down in the right hand corner, there's this little, uh, subscribe button. You can click on that or I'll throw a card as well in the top right hand corner. Um, and you can follow us for future videos. Thank you again. And let's get taking these apart. Cusser here that's still got the oil in. I haven't drained that out, but I'm just gonna pop this off the end of here. Get the little bits that are out of that. I'm gonna put the plug here, the switches. So we'll throw these. Maybe. Now, I haven't drained the oil out of this, so I'll get the oil drained out of this. I did break off these copper fittings that go in there at the end. <clears throat> um, so I'll just drain some of the oil out of that, and then we'll cut open the compressor. So, um, also while I'm draining the oil, I'm gonna pull this apart. Um, I like to take and just cut these ends off, pull the metal bracket off then, um, and then I take before I do that though, I take my razor knife and I run them down these aluminum fins like this. Try not to break my razor knife when I hit the metal on the end. Anyways, like that. And you can see that it pulls it away and then I can pull that piece of copper all the way out of there. So anyways, I'll get those broken down so I have my aluminum separate from my copper. All right, so I got the freezing system out on this larger one and definitely a different style of freezing system there. Um, anyways, still gotta get this pulled apart, see how much of this is aluminum and how much of it is steel. So, anyways, just to give you an idea, some of it is steel. So, anyways, 
This is the, the different parts of those systems where the other one had the little fingers that stuck down into the water and then froze. This one freezes as it goes up and then spits the ice out of the top. All right, so we're back with our two totes full of our goodies. So this was a smaller one and this was a larger one. This one looks a little fuller. Um, that being said, it's got a lot more cast aluminum in it. We've got our motor. I did already tell you this motor is aluminum, but I did not tell you what this one was. So you'll have to wait to the end to see that. I've also got these transformers here that I've got to finish breaking down. Um, this one had the copper wire wrapped around a steel uh, auger that froze the ice and then pushed it out the top where this one uh, had these little uh, copper fingers that dipped in. I'm gonna try to keep the copper that is uh, either nickel or you know plated or has uh, solder on it separate from the copper that uh, is clean copper and uh, melt them down that way. So anyways, do that for both of these. Um, and uh, I've got to strip a little bit of the wire for the, uh, from each of them as well. Um, but uh, anyways, we'll get to melting, so. Got our aluminum. <clears throat> Kind of a windy day, sorry. All right, so here we are with the conclusion of our 1v1 with our two ice makers. Um, brass, we, or, yeah, brass, we had about uh, eight grams, 10 grams here. Uh, copper, one pound, three ounces, one pound, one ounces. Aluminum, we had one pound, 10 ounces, and then seven ounces. This turned out to be a little bit dirty, but um, um, inside there, there was some cast that uh, I that had a lot of stuff embedded in it. And as you can see, um, had a lot of copper and brass and other things in it. So um, didn't quite turn out well and it makes the the mold kind of bubble uh, in the end. But anyways, or the ingot. Um, so next time I would sort those out when I was uh, melting them. But for now, uh, this is what we ended up with. For the small ice maker, we had $3.76. And for the large ice maker, we had $4.90. So that being said, bigger is better. Um, thank you for following along. The big uh, ice maker gets the win. And uh, anyways, follow along, like I said, for future videos. Uh, don't forget to hit that uh, like button. Um, and down here in the right-hand corner is going to be a uh, little subscribe button. 
feel free to subscribe and follow along for future videos. And once again, do something kind for someone around you this week. And uh, God bless, and I hope you all have a great week.